going to show you how to make your file in Photoshop so that you can print a canvas gallery wrap. These are called mirrored edges. We're going to create an edge all the way around this and then that way it will be an exact mirror image so when it wraps around the edge of your canvas gallery wrap it will look amazing. This is a very easy process. It should take you like about five or ten minutes to do this. So what you want to do is make sure that you start with the image the correct size, the exact size of your canvas that you're wanting to print. Now I want to print an 18 by 24 today out of this particular image but if you have like a 16 by 20 or an 8 by 10 whatever you're making you want to make it that size. So we're going to go up here to image size, go to image size, See, mine is already set to 18 by 24. I wanted to show you where this menu was because if yours isn't set to the exact size you need to do that now before you proceed into any of the further steps. But mine is the correct size. So what I also like to do is go over here to the move tool and select my image. Now if I see that there's a little bit of this move tool hanging over the edge, see this area here, it's coming over the edge, that means that part of this image is actually already wrapping over to the invisible edge. Well, I don't want that. So what I like to do is just select this area and copy it over into a new layer. So I do Command A, which is select all, Command C, which is copy all, and then Command V, which is paste, and it pastes it right over into a new layer. If you're on Windows, you do Control A, Control C, Control V. It's the same action, it's just slightly different buttons depending on whether you're on a PC or a Mac. Also, if you do not see these layers, it's very easy to see them. You go up here to Window and make sure to select layers because you can't do all this without seeing the layers in Photoshop. Next step is to remove this first layer. That way you just don't be confused by things and you notice this layer that we created. You see here when you have it highlighted with the move tool, it is right up to the edge. That's what we want. Next go to image and canvas size. We want to make the canvas size bigger all the way around equivalently. Now you have to figure out how thick your stretcher bars are. Mine are going to be 1.75 inches thick. I want to make this just a little bit bigger than that. I'm going to shoot for 2 inches thick. So what you do since you have 2 inches on this side and also 2 inches on this side, it needs to be 4 inches. So I'm going to add 4 inches to this dimension. So it's going to be 22. I'm also going to add 4 inches to the height. It's going to be 28. Now if yours were one and a half inch stretcher bars, you could decide whether you wanted to do like 1.75 inches added on here times two. So it'd be three and a half. Or if you wanted to just go ahead and do two, I like to give myself a little extra play when it comes to the printing and having to put my stretchers on there and everything. So I always add just a tad bit extra. But you can see it looks even all the way around. If yours don't look even, you need to go back to that stuff and make sure that they do because this is essential. So now what we do is we go over to our rectangular marquee tool and we select the top part. We're eyeballing this here. We're not measuring. Some people measure and do all that, but it's not necessary. What you want to do is just select about what you want to have on this mirrored edge. So you have that selected. Now we go onto our keyboard again, either Control or Command C and Control or Command V. Now you see we've got another layer here. It's just floating above this previous layer. We want to go over here to our Move tool and hold down the Shift key while you do this and just drag it up. Then I like to zoom in on this. Now you can zoom in in two ways. You can use the roller part to your mouse. That's what I like to do. Or you can go up here to view and you can zoom in and out. There are also quick keys where you can hit the command and the plus or the control and the plus minus on your keyboard depending on whether you're Mac or PC. I like to just use the scroller on my mouse. It makes it very easy. Here's why you want to zoom in. You see how this is just like one little pixel over here? We want to make sure that it's exactly even. If you don't do this, there's going to be a white line on the edge when you print it and that won't look very good. Now it's perfectly in alignment. We zoom back out. Then we go back to our original layer and select that. You got to be selected on this because we're going to copy it down here. Again, just eyeball this, copy it, paste it with the keyboard, shortcut keys, hold down shift, drag it down, zoom in. I like to select 
off of the move tool and just onto the marquee tool just to get rid of the move tools outside edges so we can really see this well and then go back to the move tool now i'd like to drag these under the initial layer this way your image that you're wanting to print is on the top that way if you accidentally had one of these edges go over the front a little bit it won't be in the finished print and then merge visible we've got them all on one layer then what we do is repeat the process for these other two sides select it copy it paste it hold down shift flip it into the mirrored edge we're good to go usually these last couple edges always line up well you don't have to move them around too much but it's good to check just to make sure we're copying it pasting it holding down shift to flip it checking no lines now we're going to Put these under, just like we did in the previous layer. We're going to merge visible. Now we've got our gallery wrap print. But bonus tip, I hate having all these signatures on there. When you wrap it, it looks like a print. So I want to get rid of these signatures. Best way to do this is take this spot healing brush tool. If you don't see it, if you right click, it'll open up this menu that'll give you options. Select the size of it. Make sure you have a pretty decent size on there. Not huge, but like 60 pixels is good. It'll allow you to select these areas quickly. Just go over all of it. Make sure it's dark all the way around what you want to remove and now we've removed it. Sometimes it doesn't get it all off of there. You have to go over it a couple of times like I just did there. But very easy to do this. You're getting rid of that unsightly signature that's the telltale sign of a print rather than an original. And I know that my customers love it when their prints look as close to an original as they can absolutely get. So this is something I always do. When you go to print this, you want to increase the size over here of the width, add 0.15 onto the end. This will make your image just a little bit bigger that comes out of your printer. It'll give you a little bit of extra room to be able to make stretching your print easier. All right, there is your canvas gallery wrap print. Now, if you wanna know how to stretch it with stretcher bars that are super easy, you don't have to staple, they don't hurt your hands, watch this video. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.